Hi everyone. Today I want to show you a little bit about all the different planners that I use and how I organize my files and my planners in my good notes. So here you go. So let me kind of first go into the good notes app. When you go into good notes, it looks like this and this is your main document screen. So as I first started using GoodNotes, I kind of had to find a way that I was going to organize all these files and I decided to create a couple of folders. One of the folders that I created was planners that I own. Before I started buying a planner, I started finding some freebies online and that's kind of where I got started. And then as I kind of started getting into this more, I started putting more in there. But actually the first planner that I ever got is one that I created here in GoodNotes. So if you're new to this, I just wanna quickly show you what you can do before you start going crazy buying stuff. Um, you can go right here to new, and then it's gonna ask you any of these things, and you can create a new notebook. When you create the new notebook, first you have these covers that you can choose from. Got a quite a bit of variety, and once you pick a cover, like in this case I chose dots, then you choose what kind of default paper you want inside. Um, I liked the dotted paper because I loved bullet journaling, but you could use blank, you could have colors, um, line, to-dos. These are all standard in GoodNotes. So in choosing the dotted paper, you hit create, and all of a sudden, you have a notebook with your cover that you can put something on, as well as your paper. And just to add another page, you can, in the four squares, just add, and it'll ask you if you want to use the same template, or if you want to use a different kind of template there. So that's how you can just kind of get started to play around in GoodNotes and see what works for you. So when I first started, I kind of created this, my first digital journal. And um, when I did that, I didn't really know what I wanted yet. So I was kind of using it a little bit in bullet journaling, um, weekend recaps, testing out different colors of papers. These are different templates I was finding online. I was trying different things out before deciding what planner I was going to get. And before I did that, I realized that I wanted something that was a side-by-side -side page. So um, what I ended up, you know, after I kind of figured out that that's what I wanted, this is the planner that has become my catch-all planner. And I'll go straight to kind of, oh wait, let's first get over here. Um, and the front of that planner kind of had this golden teal look, which I really liked. I added my little L to the front. And then from here, I actually started it in June. And that's kind of where everything got started for me. Um, and I'll show you in a, later on in the video how you can create these kinds of things. But I wanted a planner that had tabs on the side, that had different options at the top. And that one really, um, this one just kind of really worked for me. And this is from um, KK Principles, Carolina's Crafts. And everything in this video, I'll also link below in the description. So um, in my notes pages up here, and this is like my catch all planner. Here I have like a list of page ideas, uh, things I wanna journal about, create photo books about, kind of have this bullet journaling style of movies I've watched, books I've read, my traveling, which is a really big part of my life. Um, this is from my old paper planner and I love this page that I created. So I took a photo and I imported it because I still wanted it in my digital planner. My birthdays page, my Instagram followers, and just different things that I've played around with. Um, in here, I also decided to make some brain dump pages for myself. This is just something that I had created. A little place for journaling. Um, I have a little spot for my camper life. Post ideas where I really started planning my RV on the road again page. Our sticker club pages. And um, as I was kind of deciding and designing our cards and our logo. This is for when I started my YouTube channel, kind of the why, the little background about it, and some notes that I've taken as I've learned, and again, more post ideas, video ideas, etc. 
I also have a section in this my catch-all planner for like recipes, things I found online. And it's great because I can just import them in here, put them with the pictures if I like, different pages that I kind of want to create. And I have a spot here that I haven't really started yet, but I wanted to have a spot for self-care. And that's there as well. I got then these, I have all my monthlies with all my different pages. Um, this is from my summer road trip. And again, as I've kind of gone along in August, this is kind of where my August is. And again, this is when I started kind of having some daily pages as well as my weeklies, my recaps, which I find really important. And kind of into um, September, these are just some blank pages that are there. And as I've gone into September, my goals, etc. Now, I have different parts of my life and I can't always keep them all in one planner. So that's why I have a couple that I'm using. Um, so one of the other things that I'm using is my teacher planner. Because I'm a teacher, there's a million to do's on that part of my life. So I have to keep those separate. So I found, uh, I was looking for a teacher planner that had, um, Kind of this same idea of the layout that I kind of used at school. This one was great. I loved the bright colors. I loved the rings in the middle. And I loved the pages and the monthlies. So when I get here into... Um, well, I'm going to go right back here. So I started working on this layout. And you can see kind of how I created this in a previous video if you're interested. But it allows me to fit in all the things that I need for my daily week as well as, um, you know, my August calendar that for school and um, is going to require a whole different set of things separate than the things happening in my personal life. So I need to have a separate teacher planner. Now, because I just like to own things, there's different um, other planners and other things that I have found as well. One of the things that I use very, very much is my sticker book. And this sticker book... Um, comes with a variety of co of covers and from there it then has these tabs and it has 16 tabs and it allows me to kind of as I found stickers even though I have a folder for my stickers this is really where I go to find the things that I need um so each of my I have this is a travel vacation section this is ones for words and sayings uh, a place for birthdays and celebrate type stickers. So as I purchase or find stickers online, I import them directly here into my sticker book. So I use this very often. Um, now, I ha this is probably one of the first ones that I purchased before I really knew what I wanted. It was a cheap one. It was like four or five bucks. And I realized that I didn't really like it. But um, I also make, I'm also a cheerleading coach. And I make calendars for my girls and I decided I had already bought this planner. It was a great like page. So I'm actually using this one just for their monthly calendars. And so far that's working really well. And again, I need it separate than my personal one and my teacher one. So this is a different kind of planner and I'm really using it just for the monthlies to create for my girls. All right. This is just a really cute planner that it was, again, really cheap. It was from, I think, a Dreamer's Castle. And I think it was like $1.50. And it was just so cute, I couldn't pass it up. And I decided to kind of use this for just some fun journaling, fun lettering that if I wanted to do, some pages that I'm creating, my school shopping list went in here, a notes page that I created, just some doodling right here. This was signatures of my whole family. I kind of wanted everybody's handwriting. Um, again, playing around with lettering and different titles. Okay. Found a get to know me page that I was posting. And this is a page that I actually did today with my kids. So this one has just become a fun journal page, journaling type of thing. And I wanted one that was in portrait because sometimes I want to use my iPad in a different direction. So I did want a portrait um, styled journal and this one was a fun one like i said it was really inexpensive and i really like the cover and that's how i'm using it another one 
And yes, you don't need this many, but this one was so, so cute. This one is from a Chanel Shop Creations, and I really love the sides. I wasn't sure what I was using it for, so I started kind of do doing my doodles in here. So every time I wanted to just kind of doodle, these are the ones that sometimes I use. And now I'm really using it for my challenges and for my social media. It, I wanted to use these monthlies, but I wasn't sure for what. So it's kind of worked out. I'm starting here in September. I created a social media calendar. And that way I'm able to kind of track um, when I'm posting or adding to my stories, where I started the month, where I'm going to end the month. And throughout the week, just kind of putting in the kinds of posts I'm doing on my different social media accounts. So that's finally what I decided to use these monthlies for. Um, they're too small for my typical use of all the other different things I would have, but it works really, really well for my social media. So that's what I decided to use this one for. And the only other one that I, um, now I want to kind of show you the different folders. So these are my main, um, ones and something that I really love about GoodNotes because my brain always has 50 tabs open. Well, so does my good notes. So I can literally go from my social media one to my cheer calendar one, to my journal, to my sticker book. And it's just a matter of um, tapping on the tabs. So I really love that I can have all these open. I also use an app called Notability and it works very differently in this regard. So I love the fact that I have tabs here that I'm able to switch back and forth from whatever I need. Now, as far as all the other things that I find, whether it's PDFs, um, I have a place specifically for planner inserts. So things that I have found online, freebies, um, purchases, anything like that, I import directly into here. It helps me see them at a glance. And um, this is especially good for like my bullet journal style kind of pages that I like. So this is where um, this is where I've kind of housed them all in this planner inserts folder. Okay. Um, I also started a folder in here just for lettering. I don't have a lot, but um, I, I created that within that folder as well. Another one is I have planner covers, even though I really only have one. Sometimes you can find a lot of great things online. So if you want to make or create different planner covers, there's um, I kind of created a folder for that. And the other folder that I use mainly is my stickers. This is just as I, again, have found freebies or um, any purchases, I will import directly into here. But um, I did this originally, and then when I found the right sticker book, I um, do kind of import them directly into there. But sometimes I do it in both just to have a backup in place. Okay. And pretty much that's how I have my dashboard set up. You can also put these stars to kind of show your favorites. Um, you can find these by name or by date is a way that you can organize these up here. And then once this is um, organized the way that you want, if you want to move something from one place to another, you can. All you have to do is click the arrow, click move. And now if I wanted to move that one back into, let's say, planners that I own, once I move it, it no longer appears in this area. So it's really that simple um, to do that. So I just wanted to show you a quick little overview of how I organize my different planners and files in GoodNotes. If you have any questions or you want to see anything more in depth, please uh, leave a little comment or question in the comment section. I'll be happy to answer those. And I hope you learned something. Thanks for watching.